this is Oliver. Oliver has bladder acne, which means that uh, his bladder has lost its uh, muscular cohesion because it's been stretched too largely. That happened because he has bladder outlet syndrome and it's a diagnosis that was missed while treating his diabetes. And um, as a result, he was unable to pee. His bladder kept getting larger and larger and larger as a result of this. We would see the symptoms that he would have uh, nocturnal urination and always sleeping. But it was being uh, misclassified as just a symptom of diabetes. But instead he was having a neurological problem. We're not sure what the, uh, the source is. But uh, it was, he was not able to open his, uh, uh, relax his urethral sphincter and urinate properly or completely. And as a result his bladder got larger and larger. It lost cohesion and he ended up with a very critical situation was on catheter for a while to help shrink his bladder down and now he is on medications to uh, help his bladder contract and also to help his urethra, you know, his uh, urethral sphincter to relax. But that's not enough. We also have to help express him to make sure that he's urinating and keep his bladder small because he's at that stage. Uh, I'm going to show you how I do this. This is uh, He's a difficult case because of the condition he has. So if you're dealing with a pet that is paralyzed and unable to urinate, they're not going to have this particular difficulty. Yeah, a lot of the technique is going to be the same. It's just... Um, you may, if you're dealing with this kind of situation, you're going to be frustrated because you're going to be following all the instructions you're given and you're going to be running into problems and uh, your pet's just not going to be responding. So it takes a while to get the hang of this, most definitely. It took me two months to learn how to do this. And I'm still learning as I'm going, but I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so I get him relaxed. Uh, I have him on a... Uh, uh, a system here that is similar to what they use at the vet's office. Uh, this allows me to keep him clean whenever this happens. He doesn't get urine on him. Uh, it's also easier for me since I have a bad back to uh, uh, get to address him. And um, I'll show you the points at which I use and uh, the method that I go with. And I'll also use a, a balloon to show you exactly what I'm doing here. Alright, so I get him relaxed. Having him lying down or sitting is the best position. It's very hard to fill the bladder whenever he's standing up. But if I get him lying down, it's the easiest of all because his abdominal muscles relax. He's a little bit of a fat boy, so you got to feel through some such there. But um, my hand position is I'm going to come down here by his knees. And I'm going to be resting my hands inside that area. The back of my hand here, the heel, uh, the spine of it is going to be touching his ribs. So I'll be able to feel that, but I'm not going to be pressing on those. I'm going to find his bladder between and I'm going to press with this hand into this hand to uh, uh, create compression on the bladder. I want to push it towards this end of his body, down towards his butt. That will create pressure to stimulate the sphincter and also to begin the urination process. Uh, but I also have to do a little bit extra to help stimulate his bladder where with my right hand, since I'm right hand dominant, I will uh, use this finger to massage that big broad area of muscle that's down at the base which is the sphincter muscle area and that stimulates and it'll help get a reaction where his tail will come up in the air and he'll be ready to urinate. Uh, at that point I have to maintain some pressure on it and I will continue to massage just trying to make sure that stimulation is there so we can get as much urine out as possible. Alright, let's give this a shot bud. 
I oh, know you don't like this. Oh, we're going to complain. I'm not even squeezing you yet. I'm just touching you. Okay, you go ahead and back up. That's good. Okay, so I have my hands in the position that I described, and I'm pressing across with my right hand, and now I'm coming to meet it with the left. And I can feel that balloon structure, and he's going to fight me. And what we're going to do is I'm going to create some pressure for just a minute, and then I'm going to stop because he doesn't want me to do this, and it helps him get used to it. All right. All right, buddy. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Give him a little bit of relaxation for a moment, then we'll go back to it. Uh, at that point, you would feel that the bladder position has changed, that it has compressed and gone more towards the rear of his body. And we're one step closer. Pretty regularly, I will have to do that twice before on the third time, a lot of times, I get the urination to happen. Okay, bud. Go. Oh, the indignities. Oh, yeah. Yes, he's making noise. He's not in pain or anything. He just likes to complain a lot. He doesn't like being picked up. Okay, I'm gonna try stimulation and see if that helps. And I'll have to redo this from another angle with the camera that you'll be able to see the, the reaction in the tail. Okay, he's not ready yet. Okay. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. Here's some of your rubbies for you. You know you're getting some munchies when this is all done, right? So you don't have anything to sweat. You're doing good, bud. You're a good boy. You're a wonderful boy. Yes, you are. Okay, got some chin rubbies, cheek rubbies, and ear rubbies. Can I go back and do this again now? Mm hmm? Alright, let's get the pee out, bud. The buff protests too much. Okay, there we go, good boy. Okay, I have the urine coming out now. I stimulated it properly. And I'm still pressing between my hands. And uh, I'm using my right hand as the base. Now at this point, his bladder is contracted and I can feel what size it is. And as this is his first expression of the day, he did not get it enough out. I'm going to have to try this again. So, uh, a lot of times, if I can get it down to the size of um, about the size of a peach small peach large plum but the thing is it's going to be oblong in shape it's going to be more like a not quite an egg something longer uh, one one way to look at it would be the size of a lemon for him he's a larger cat a uh, smaller cat you're going to go down probably to the size of an egg but uh, um, you know, since he's 18 pounds, and he's a Maine Coon, he's going to have a larger bladder. He also has a larger bladder because, well, we got stretched out. All right, let's do it. Well, you just stopped giving me trouble. still have enough bladder here, buddy, to get. you still need this done. If we keep the pee out of you, you do not get bladder infections. Mm. Mm. I want to get a little bit more. I know you're all mad at me because I'm still doing this to you. You want me to just stop, but I don't get to. That take care of you. You've been hiding from me. So you don't want this to happen. One more, buddy. And then we get you some, get you some yummies, okay? All right. Try to 
to walk away from me, huh? That's how he'll try to get away, so he'll try to back up to get out of my hands. And that's also why he's on this here rack. Okay, bud, let's get this out. All right, that's enough. Okay, all right, we'll get you off of here. How's that for a meow? Between, if you get uh, the uh, bladder to express the first time, but you feel that there's still a need to continue because the bladder still has a degree of size to it, you have to wait a moment you know, for that bladder to relax. The bladder itself is a sac like muscle, and when it's contracted, it's you're not going to be able to get anything happening until you allow that to relax. So you just stop, you pet the cat for a little bit, and it will relax. And then you get the opportunity to get more urine out. Hold on, bud. Well, okay, you, you more comfy now? Okay, got his bladder back here. It's not as big this time. The second time during the day. So you can get this tail to come up. You'll see the reaction where the tail lifts up because that's his natural way of saying, hey, I'm going to pee. I don't want to pee on my tail. Okay, give you another moment, bud. All right, it's okay. You're going to get your pee out and then you get a snack. Uh -huh. Your snack's going to have medicine in it. So mean to you, aren't I? Okay. Don't find me, buddy. That tail to come up. Oh, there you go, buddy. You stop peeing. Let's get as much out as we can, bud. Great. Oh, that's so much better. Good boy. You want to go get some yummies now? Let's go get some. This balloon is going to give you an illustration of how you're going to be squeezing the bladder and how it's going to be affected. Uh, this portion here is demonstrating Oliver's problem since he has a bladder at and he's had bladder has been stretched out this portion is floppy and so we have to uh, compensate for that so the bladder is going to be you're going to use one hand as your base to press against and you're going to come across with the other hand and you're going to get yourself so that you are pressing one end and pressing it towards the other. And you're going to end up with this V-shape, which is going to allow the pressure to go back towards that sphincter muscle so that you can end up having the expression of the bladder. Uh, what I have been having to do is I've had to do this at one end of the bladder. Uh, there was a point in time whenever things were working really well in the bethanical that I'd get him started and I would do this and he would urinate very easily. So if you have that benefit of using the better, better medication of Bethanicol, this will help possibly to keep that uh, sphincter muscle stimulated in relaxation so that the urine can flow freely. But at this point in time, I now have to, I have the compression here and the fingers will curl under. I'll be doing this, but I'm also pressing in over on this side to press that bladder and compress it so that urine wants to flow out. As it shrinks down, 
you'll end up with a very tight bladder at the end, but it'll be much smaller in, sh in size.